doesn't have to be diamonds to be a girl's best friend. Today on Beads, Baubles, and Jewels. Tammy Hahnemann of Fire Mountain Gems and Beads joins me now. And you know, Tammy, all day today we've been talking about the use of semi-precious gemstones. And you not only use gemstones in your project, semi-precious gemstones, but also a really cool way to use toggles. Yes, I really love working with toggle clasps. They're one mm -hmm. of my favorites. They're uh, very easy on and off. Okay, let's start our project. Sure. I'm working uh, today with beading wire, 0.012 mm -hmm. beading wire, 49 strands, so it's nice and flexible. Okay. Uh, and I use this crimp tube finding, which I'll run the beading wire back through as instead of a crimp bead. Okay. Okay, so I'll show you how I do that. And, and using two? I'm using uh, two strand, okay. two strands of beading wire. I cut about 30 inches of it. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna string on my crimp tube bead, which sometimes when you're working with two strands is and always the easiest to get them both through at the same time. Yeah, so just one at a time would be fine too. Sure, sure. And then I'm gonna, oh, I'd like to add a uh, bead in mm -hmm. between my crimp tube and my clasp. It just helps kind of buffer the wire from the tension that gets put on the right. necklace. Plus it looks nice too. Sure, it dresses it up. It's just sometimes tricky. There we go. There you go, perfect. Through the clasp. And then we go through the clasp. Mm -hmm. And then what I like to do is go right back up through the crimp tube bead. Okay. And then you just compress the center section of the crimp tube bead mm -hmm. and that'll secure, secure your clasp to your beading wire. Okay. And then you're ready to get going. Perfect. Now, what are we making today? Are we making um, an, is it an eyeglass holder? Or? Well, it's a necklace, but it's also something that can act as an eyeglass holder. So it's versatile. So it is versatile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is what you start with. You have your bead, your crimp tube finding, and your clasp. Okay. We're going to just string a set of beads that are very um, single strand. Okay. And then to then jazz it up a little bit. I like to separate the strands okay. and begin stringing um, on both strands oh, individually. Okay. Okay, so that's where so we are. So it adds a little dimension right in the middle. Exactly. <laughs> um, so we have the two strands now strung with beads and then mm -hmm. we bring them back together through a oh, single a single bead. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just continue this pattern around the entire necklace until mm -hmm. you've strung as long as you like your necklace to be it's perfect. and as long as you'd like your eyeglasses to be hanging down. And I noticed the fluorite in there, which is a beautiful touch. Oh, isn't yeah. that wonderful? And then it just opens up a whole lot of possibilities for other beads that you can add in to your design. Definitely. Um, so we've strung here now our entire necklace. Look at that. Um, kind of going in and out with double strands and then single strands. And uh, just so you, if you wanted to wear it as a necklace with the clasp in the back, I put a nice size uh, focal bead here. Oh, okay, that's so it, smart, yeah. Just in case you want to wear it as a necklace and put the clasp in the back. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you're getting ready to do your toggle end, this is a very important uh, step when you're making anything with a toggle mm -hmm. clasp. You want to make sure you have some length to your piece so that when you're pulling your toggle bar through the loop, okay. it'll actually go through and it won't get stuck. That's the beads right. won't get you stuck. Because <laughs> you'd hate to be finished and then all of a sudden oh, it can't clasp. And right. then what do you have? <laughs> right, exactly. And you don't want to put anything too large near your toggle bar or mm -hmm. it won't go through. So just adding a little bit of length here is really an, an important step oh, really when designing. Mm -hmm. And then you just compress your crimp tube bead and you're ready to go. That's perfect. Yeah. And we have the finished product. This is the finished piece showing it with the eyeglass in the front. Mm -hmm. And but like you said, just take the eyeglasses out and you've got yourself a gorgeous necklace. Absolutely. So dual purpose. Absolutely. And then another thing that you can do is um, hang from there mm -hmm. uh, a focal bead. You can add some dangles to your toggle clasp Great. if you want to wear it in the front. Uh -huh. um, and, and toggle clasps come in a wide, wide variety of styles okay. and sizes. And you've brought a few with you. Just, just a few. <laughs> just a Starting few. with gemstone ones, which are gorgeous. Yes, these are a wonderful addition to a gemstone necklace. Mm -hmm. They really just add that one last final touch to your piece. Right. Yeah, and you have the color as well. Oh, color's good. Mm -hmm. Color's good. <laughs> uh, and then toggles, you know, typically will come in the red, regular metals, silver, gold. Um, you can get plated, you can get sterling, you can get 24 karat. Uh, they come in all different sizes and uh, something important when you're working with toggles is to make sure that the bar mm -hmm. is long enough that it spans across the diameter of your right. toggle loop mm -hmm. so that it doesn't come undone while you're wearing it. Right. That's important to check before you really begin your project so that you're not disappointed mm -hmm. at the end. And they add so much dimension and beauty oh, to the piece yeah. because of the different types of um, toggles that are available. Oh yeah, they're just fabulous and just the amount of work that goes into them itself. You can mm -hmm. actually do a very simple stringing project and let right. the toggle 
dog will really sing for you. Exactly. It could be almost be the focal point. Absolutely. Itself. Absolutely. Here are some other examples as well, starting with uh, these earrings. Those are really interesting. Isn't that a fun way to use the toggle clasp? Mm -hmm. You can use the bars in the um, other half of the toggle in into your necklace, right. and then you have those left over, and you might as well use them and make some uh, something to match your <laughs> your necklace. And then the other necklace, so beautiful with the colors. And that's one where you have the tassel hanging down from the front that just really makes that such a nice focal piece. Mm -hmm. And the one in front there, the Hill Tribe Silver, is a nice silver piece with chain and a wrapped Right. silver toggle. That style is so popular right now. Oh, it really yeah. is. I Anything. think it's just, yeah, it's versatile. It could be casual and be so dressy at the same time, yep. depending on what you're wearing. Yep. And, and then, then this other one is a nice, simply strung necklace where the toggle is really just a beautiful piece mm -hmm. and the, the beads are, are a nice enhancement to it, but you didn't have to go crazy. Mm -hmm. And then these other bracelets here just use really fun clasps and uh, mm -hmm. you know just let you have some fun in, in addition to the beads that you're using. So not only can you make your project just beautiful by the different types of uh, gemstones that you're using but also the toggle is not just a way to clasp it, it actually be becomes a part of the decoration and the design as well. Oh yes, it's, it's a great, great inspirational place to start. Great, thank you so much Tammy. Thank These you. are gorgeous pieces. Next time on Beads, Baubles and Jewels we feature one of my favorite accessories earrings. They're not just for dress up anymore. Chandelier earrings and exotic designs are for every day. And they're so easy to make. We have a whole show of just earrings next time on Beads, Baubles and Jewels. You won't want to miss it.